Are you ready to lose your mind? Hello everybody, it's Scott here and we are playing through Strange Case 2 Asylum. It's available on iOS and Android and I'm currently playing through on my iPhone. Now this is a creepy, atmospheric, point and click detective game. We are trying to get clues and figure out what the heck is going on and make our way through. So to catch you up on what's happened so far, we have woken up in this room. We have tried to get out. I managed to get out by doing a little puzzle game, clogging the toilet with a rag that I used to cut off from a broken piece of tile. This is us right here. We are bandaged up. We don't know why we are here. We are not sure why. But because we clogged the toilet, we were able to get the guard to stop looking for us as they went to get a plumber. I knocked on next door and schizophrenia, paranoid delusions, hallucinations, obsessive compulsive disorder. He came out and he was like, please, they're trying to hurt us. He's got I plus blood. I didn't even know that was a thing. Blood unknown, this is us now. Unknown, unknown, numerous lacerations, disorientation, memory loss, delirium, obsessions. Whew. Because it's a very narrative experience, I wanted to experience this with you. So let's go through and figure this out. Okay, so this door is closed, the laboratory is closed. And this bit in the middle, I was trying to click on that little block in the middle, we couldn't go. So clicking on the arrows, moving side to side, the Dr. Death Ooh, offices. Okay, so where can we go? There are no bars on this window, but it's locked and can't open it without noise. So we're not getting out that way. What's on the table? We can't open the drawer, no books, but there is this note. I find this new ward of yours extremely uncomfortable, perhaps even dangerous. My hounds claim he has something to do with the notorious alchemist. So the alchemist, that was the first game. Strange Case 1, The Alchemist. I haven't played that, but this is a follow-on from that, a sequel, and obviously some callbacks to that original game. It's to our advantage that he can't remember anything. Hook this patient up somewhere far away, but don't let him go to waste just yet. There's no telling who else might, might know he's in our asylum. In the meantime, I'll try to find out more. Okay, that does sound ominous. Let's click on these filing cabinets. Right. What number were we? Were we number seven? Yeah, it seems card hasn't been filled in yet. There's nothing in the seventh drawer. Oh, hello. Okay, so we know we can add some stuff in here. Each one of them seems to have something. Now, I'm not going to try and source code it, just going on through until we get it right. But I want to check everything and see. Yeah, none of these cards are filled. Okay, just checking through. It's always best to check. Yep, none of that. And four, I didn't actually click on. Nothing there. Number five, you can't open, which is a little bit annoying. Clicking on our inventory in the bottom corner. We don't have anything at the moment. So I really want to see if we can open some of those drawers. So clicking out, it's only three places we can go. This room, back to our room, and these two rooms which are closed. So is there anything in the bin? No, clicking on this, 720. 720 and 231. They're the only numbers we're going on. So let's do it. So seven. 20. Did that open anything? I hope it did. Yes. Okay. We found him in the woods, unconscious. A normal person would not have survived these injuries. We need to find out who he is as soon as possible. 34, 20, 47, 71. I'm not going to remember that number. I am not going to remember that number. So what I'm going to do is instead, I'm just going to open up notes and write down 34, 20, 47, 71, because that's going to come back to haunt us at some point. Can we take any of this? No. Okay. So jumping out, and it was 2, 231, was it, if I remember? 2, oops, 231. Clicking in, there we go. John Doe, former warehouse worker, came to town a couple of years ago. No friends or relatives, obsessed with his hair, brushes it out every minute. So, 115, looking at that top left corner, there seems to be a scribble in the margin. 231, 380, and 622. Now, we know the 231 was for this patient, so the rest of them are obviously for those drawers. So let's jump into one and change that to 15. 
And what do we have access to now? Ooh, nothing. Seems that hasn't been filled out yet. Okay. 231 was correct. 380. Let's jump out. Jump into here. Oh, still nothing here. Okay, so 622. There's got to be something going on. 622. Nothing. But we did have these numbers left. 34, 20, 47, and 71. And we didn't look at 4, 8, and 9. So some of these... 7 was 20. So I'm guessing 4 is going to be 34. Just process of elimination. Let's see. 34. Nothing. But I'm just going to try out 47. See if any of these pop up. Nothing. And 71, by chance? 71? Nothing. Okay. So let's try number... 8. And let's try 34 again. I'm just going to go through those numbers that we found earlier. 34. Nothing. 47. Again, nothing. And 71. Nothing. I'm really hoping this, this draw number 9 reveals something for us because I'm a little bit stuck of where to go. So 34, nothing. 47. Again, nothing. Oh, come on, 71. Come through for us, yeah? 71. Nothing. Hmm. Right, now I am stuck of where to go. Oh. Oh. I think I've just got it. I think I've just got it. I think maybe we put these in and it gets to the case file. Yes, but it may also unlock that middle one that we couldn't open. I'm manifesting that. I'm putting it out there. I'm hoping that's where it's going to be. 115, 231, 380. I'm going to say 434. I'm going to say 622. And the middle one was open. Yes, get in. Okay, so this is a free to play game. So you can purchase an ad free version. For the moment, we're just going to watch an ad to get through. So we're back in. And as I say, this is a free to play game. So you can watch ads in order to progress through or you can just pay a little bit of money in order to get the full ad-free version. But we're back into that middle draw. 702, we got a trinket, 702. There's nothing else in this drawer, is there? No. Oh, sorry, doctor. What are you doing in my office? However, it doesn't matter. Glad and surprised that you're already on your feet. Sit down, let's look at your wounds. Removes the bandages. Hmm, do you remember the state in which you entered here? No. Okay, how do you feel now? Is your head spinning hallucinations? I saw something in the mirror. No, nothing like that. Let's say no, nothing like that. I need you to pass some tests. Look at my table. Okay, let's do these tests. Oh, it looks like we're going to do some Rorschachs. Right, let's put these Rorschachs in order, shall we? And how do we do that? Just by swapping over? Brilliant. It's a little jigsaw puzzle. Let's see how quick I can do this. Please don't judge me if this takes longer than it should. But I've always not been too bad at puzzles benefit of being an only child with no friends. Beautiful. And there's, oh, that was the Silence of the Lambs moth that went away there. Let's put that there, put that there, get the edge pieces. There we go. And I know that's not going to be right. So we're going to put that there, put you in the middle because you only had the one edge. That's the other edge right there. You can go in the center on the side. It's difficult to narrate doing a jigsaw puzzle, but I'm hoping I'm doing all right, putting that there. And that is a horrible smiling face. Why would I see that? So put that in the corner, right, definitely an edge piece down there. That's at the bottom. I'm going to put you over there because that doesn't seem like it's going to match up. I'm going to put you at the top, down by the side, 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 down at the bottom. Where's your other corner? Where's that other corner? That's a side piece. That's also a side piece. Ah, because the edge piece was there. That was the corner piece. There's the corner as well. Okay, so I'm going to put you at the top. Ah, so we do need to swap those over. And there's another edge. And there's another edge. Right. So we know that can't go there. So I'm going to put you there, put you there. And where's the final edge? There, put you there. That still doesn't seem right. There we go. Much better. Much better. Okay. So you can't have something just appearing out of nothing. So I'm going to put you up there, but will you follow through? No, so that can go there. 
and we're gonna move this side piece up. Beautiful, and we're very nearly done. It's just figuring out the shape in which this is. There we go, oh goodness. Freddy Krueger, Fr Frieda Krueger, it seemed. That wasn't good at all. You passed the tests, I wouldn't count that as a pass. That was horrific. Um, but what about your memory? Can you say your name? Oh, I don't remember it. Well, that's okay. Memory is such a thing. It needs time. But I have something that might help. This is the key to your nightstand. There are personal belongings that you had when you were hospitalized. Hope this will help. Now go to sleep. It's late. Thank you, Dr. Death. If your name was Death, would you really become a doctor? Because I, I, I would go for a different profession. You know, I don't think that's a good idea. So let's click on the nightstand key from our inventory and open up the nightstand. Oh, you need a rest, oh, okay. Doesn't look very good, however, there's no choice. Let's take a rest. Let's go to sleep. Weird noise woke me up in the night. Oh no. Oh, it's all spinning, it's all coming towards us. The art style is that sort of simply drawn yet horribly atmospheric and creepy. It's the simplicity of the drawings that makes it really creepy. There's a sort of Uncanny Valley-esque notion to it, you know? I lay staring up at the shabby ceiling of the, sh of the chamber. Yesterday's dream seemed so real. I had to get out of that asylum before I went completely insane. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I, yeah. Let's open you up. I need the key. Thank you. And where's the lock? What do we have here? We've got a coin, got a comb. Great, thank you. Let's get out of here. But is that really all we got? I can't open this. I mean, that'd be a great space to keep a load of stuff in would be in there. But never mind. Oh, they've taken the bandage off us now. So we can have a look in the mirror and see what we look like. What's going on here? Oh, we're just looking at the sink down below. Well, what can we do with the sink? pretty thin. Could I maybe use it to unscrew something? That's what I always think when I ever see I could. No. Just a comb and a hotel trinket. Okay, well I'm tapping on things hoping for some progression. I can't get into the mirror. Has the toilet been fixed? I think the toilet may have been fixed. Can I get out of the room? Oh, I need to stay in the room. Okay. Now, was there anything under the bed? Ah, there we go. Do you see those little slats on the side taking out the screws to get the coin to unscrew that? Oh no, now I have a pipe. What can we do with the pipe? It's either we're gonna break something or yeah, leave. I was gonna say, I don't wanna break his head, but let's lever this. Oh no, there's a big flood. Oh, buddy, buddy, buddy. Oh no, there's a flood. Help us out. Yeah, I know, it's awful, isn't it? Go and get a plumber. Ugh, you better keep him on retainer. Okay, let's jump in again. And we are back in. Right, we are back out of our room. Oh no, our mate here who was loving combing his hair, he's been, he's been lobotomized, didn't he? Do you want, do you want a comb? Here you go, mate. Oh, that's grim. He's trying to comb his bald little shaved. Oh, mate. Oh, okay. Why did the camera go there? Let's get his uh, candy out of his mouth. We are literally taking candy from a big baby's mouth. Right, that's grim. So we got a candy now, that's lush. Oh, and a candy wrapper. Now we can keep it in our pocket without getting lint all over it. We're in the storage closet. What's on the shelves? Some pliers, some spiral tube and a stethoscope. Oh, we're making bank. If we sell all this on contraband, we'll be great. Oh, it's too hot to get that. Oh, maybe I could smash it with something. Maybe the pliers? No. Maybe with the spiral tube? No. Just a stethoscope? You say just the stethoscope, but that comb works well. Turn that switch off so then we can go in and then get the... It's too dark. You know where the light bulb is. Never mind. Let's... Can we go into the lab? Can we go... Oh God, that actually creeped me out seeing that man there with that plant in front of his face. How you doing, buddy? All right, you go off and enjoy your plant. Did he see something? 
Even if he did, he was unlikely to remember. I gave him a hoarse dose of sleeping pills and painkillers for the night. He passed out in the middle of the hallway. Keep an eye on him. He must not escape. Okay. Uh, did you forget to close the door again? Oh, sorry. I'll close it now. Oh, goodness. It's there, there's, there's trouble a-brewing. And our man over here, our buddy, he's, he's enjoying that plant. I'm going to let him enjoy it and say right here, folks, that this has been Strange Case 2 Asylum. What do you think? Let us know down below. Is this a game that you'll be playing? Do you like this sort of creepy point and click sort of adventure? It's very atmospheric. It draws you in. And a lot of time has passed before I even realized it definitely keeps you hooked. But yes, let us know your thoughts down below. But for now, my friends, luck and more to you all. And catch you next time.